I have some really cool new markers to show you today from Ohuhu. When the company reached out to me, I was thrilled because I have heard of these and I wanted to try them out for a while. But since I have so many pens, I don't usually, you know, go and buy tons more pens, but I wanted them, so I was happy to hear from them. <laughs> Anyway, I have some watercolor-based brush pens and some alcohol-based markers to show you today. And let's just do it. Let's get into it. Let's look at these first. Look at the cute little packaging. These are called the Maui Series Watercolor-Based Dual Tip Markers. I think they're called fine liners. Anyway, it's a brush pen on one side and a fine liner on the other side. There are 60 colors in this set. Oh my goodness, they're getting away. They're getting away. Look at these babies. These are my new babies to add to my collection. So it comes with a couple of things. First of all, you get a color chart. You also get like a piece of paper where you can, you can use to color in to test them, to swatch them out. So that's what I'm gonna do with you. You also get some extra tips in here that, and instructions on how to replace the tips if you need to. So let's go ahead and get started swatching these out. Before I swatch them though, I'm gonna show you what they look like. So. Here is what the marker looks like. We have the one side is a brush tip pen and it's like a nice thickness too. It's definitely much smaller than a Tombow. I'm gonna swatch out the colors but I'll also test them for you too. And then this side is a fine tip, like very small fine tip pen, which they're calling a fine liner. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these out first, then we're gonna use them and talk more about them. Okay, I was wrong. There were 100 colors in there. I don't know why it says 60 on the box, or maybe they gave me the 60 set and put in some extras for me. I'm not sure, but this is what they look like. That's all the pretty colors. I think what I'm going to do is show you the other set of markers first, and then we're going to use them. So let me show you those. Before I talk about these markers, I just want to mention that Ohuhu is having a 7th anniversary sale from June 7th to July 7th. If you spend over 100 you can get 7% off, over 160 you can get 17% off, and over 230 you can get 20% off. Just so you're aware, it's a big sale they're having right now. By the way, Ohuhu is very hard to say. I'm getting better at it. All right, these are the Honolulu Series Pastel Alcohol Based Marker Set. Wait until you see what these look like when I open it up. It's so pretty. You know I'm a sucker for pens. Did I say that already? Look at this. Oh, aren't they pretty? I opened that up and I was so pleased at how cute they are. And they're pastel. And you know I love pastels. At least I think you do if you watch my channel. We have 48 colors in this set. It comes with a couple of things that I'll talk about. It comes with a little pamphlet and it shows you the colors. It also, they named the colors. I don't, I don't have time to play the really long guessing game that I always do when I name all the colors because there's 48 of them and that's a lot, but they're in here. And it just tells you a little bit about the alcohol-based markers and how to use them and stuff. So you get that. You also get a piece of plastic that you're gonna be able to put between coloring sheets. Like if you're using this for a coloring book or anything really. You can put your paper on top of this and because these do bleed through. I don't know if you know about alcohol-based markers, but they do bleed through and we're going to talk about that and I have used them in my planner before, but you have to be careful and use them in specific ways. But these are great for coloring. They are perfect and let's swatch these babies out. We have this here. Let me show you these first. So for each of these, you get a broad chisel tip on the one side, and then you get a brush marker on the other side. And this side with the brush has a gray circle around it so that you know which side is the brush side. So these are comparable to a Copic marker. 
I love Copic markers, but they're super, super expensive. These are definitely a more inexpensive price point. So let's try these out. I love writing with the alcohol-based markers because they are just so smooth. And I love coloring things in with them, you know? The names of the colors are also on this little key. Okay, that took a very long time, but look how pretty these are. This is what they look like up close. Aren't they pretty? I love them. That was really fun for me, but it took forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna put these aside and we will talk about each type of marker. By the way, I wanna take a marker drawing class. I might do that on Skillshare actually. I'm sure they have them. Um, because I wanna to learn to draw with these because that would be freaking cool. Yeah, I've seen some amazing drawings with alcohol-based markers that blow me away. I would love to be able to do that. Right now, I just do tiny little doodles that are mostly black and white, but that would be super fun. So maybe I'll get into that, we'll see. First things first, I wanna test out this brush pen to see how it works on the Happy Planner paper and all that. So I have the color 82 and we're just going to, let me see, what should I write? I'll write, oh hoo hoo. I'm gonna see if it bleeds through the other side. It writes nicely. It's very smooth. Um, it feels like about the size of a mild liner brush pen maybe. Of course you can make it bigger and smaller depending, but like you could do this, you know, or you could do this. And that's true with any brush pen, but let's see if it goes through the other side. A little bit. Only in the really thick one that I just did, but the others you can't really see at all. So not bad, not bad. And then this side, let's see, let's just write laundry. Maybe I should do a darker pen to see if it works. We'll do this dark purple. Laundry, dishes, post office. Now let's check out the other side. Definitely don't see that through there at all for the fine line part. Um, again, you do see that a little bit, but the same thing happens with a Tombow or any brush pen like that. So for reference, here's the tips of a Tombow versus the, the Ohuhu pen. So you can see the Tombow tips a little bit bigger. Um, it's a nice brush pen, I will say. I like it a lot. And you get so many colors in that set. Like, it just goes on and on, you know? Pink. There's nice control. Like, I don't have any complaints with these. I like it. And then, of course, you get that, that really thin side that's going to match, you know, the bigger one. So I like that, too, because the Tombow one is a little thicker, you see. So that's like... I don't know what um, point that is, but it's very thin. Now I'm not gonna test the alcohol-based markers on Happy Planner paper because it's gonna bleed through, as I said. So there's tons of stuff you can do with alcohol-based markers, but one of the things I wanna show you today is something I thought would be really, really fun, which is to add color to a plain black box. You could do any type of box. I mean, of course you can draw your own boxes. I've used these for that, but this is pretty cool. So when you're using alcohol-based markers, you have to keep going pretty quickly. If you stop at one place, it might bleed a little bit, but these are great because it come, the color comes out looking very smooth no matter what you do. So you can go around the outside of a box like this I went a little wonky there, but do you see how cute that is now? 
let's take it off and let me show you what it looks like. So you can see it does bleed through the other side, but it doesn't matter if you're putting it onto a sticker or onto another piece of paper. So you've got such a cute box. Like it, you can use like whatever color you want that's going to match your spread. You can do it with black boxes or gold boxes or silver or really anything you want. Um, you could even draw your own, like say you want to use like a black Tombow and draw your own. But you want it to be a little more snazzy so you can add another color to it. Like green. And you can use this side or you can use the other side. It doesn't really matter, but let's say you want it to be like a really cool thick box. These are permanent markers, so they're not going to like bleed, you know? It's not going to pick up the other color that you're using. I put that right over the Tombow and it didn't do anything and there's no black on there. So isn't that pretty cool? And then you could take your like thin pen and go around the outside if you wanted. You know, isn't that fun? These also come with a colorless blender. Um, I'm not great at using the colorless blenders, but you can blend two colors together to give like an ombre effect. I'm just really not good at it, so I don't want to show it to you because, you know, I'm not good at it. <laughs> let's try another box. Let's see. Let's take a long one here. I'll use the brush side this time. See, the brush side is a little bit less of like a, a sharp line, so I don't know if I'd recommend that for the boxes. Like, it's really good for coloring in. So if you have, say, like letter stickers that you can color in or something, like the this brush side is really good, or if you're using them for a coloring book or anything like that, or if you do a doodle and you're coloring it in yourself, you know what I mean? So, yeah little stripey on the top. These are also buildable, so the more you color with it, the more it is going to like be dark. That really was a bad way to say it. Be dark. <laughs> you know what I mean. You can see it darkens as you go, and then you could take like, you know, another stripe, and it looks lighter because you didn't do a bunch of colors on top of each other. A bunch of strokes. Wow. I cannot speak English today, but I think you know what I'm talking about. All right, let's just try something else. I don't know why I use that same color. It's almost the same, actually, it's not. You can see that the possibilities are pretty endless with these. I do like the dual tone of the colors in a box. Again, not speaking English. Then I could take my pen and like do a little cross hatching there. That's really fun. That's really cute actually. Maybe I'll do that in my next spread. <laughs> Let's see what we can do with this one. I mean, you can obviously leave it like that, but I think it would be fun to switch it up. I mean, you can do little dots around it like this. Put another color next to it. That looks like a watermelon box. Look at that. I wasn't intending that, but it's kind of cute. It looks like a, you could make use that for like a little watermelon spread. <laughs> so I love, love, love alcohol-based markers. Just please keep in mind if you use them in your planner, you need to put them on a sticker first or another piece of paper and glue it in because it will bleed right through. In fact, I'll show it to you now. I'll put this underneath so that we don't go through the other side, but I'll show you what I mean.
see it's going to bleed right through the other side so that you know it's not great for directly on your planner pages but the other markers these ohuhu markers would be okay for directly on your planner pages um, especially the thin side And of course, these would be great, as I said, for coloring books. I have this coloring book by Elise Burns that, that she just sent to me. It's brand new. Isn't it cute? Um, and like it has these really cute pictures. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just wanted to show this to you and show you like how the markers work in a coloring book. Um, let's see if I can find a good page. Let's just color a little of this page. I think this page is so cute. And I'm going to get that little plastic sheet. Where is that? And I'll just show you how these work on a coloring book. So the reason I like using alcohol-based markers with a brush tip for coloring is you don't actually even go all the way to the edge. You don't want to. So you go close to the edge, and it kind of fills it in for you because it bleeds out a little bit. Um, and it just makes for a very smooth coloring experience. I don't know. I just love them. When you first put it down on the page, it's going to look different than when it dries a little bit. It dries a little bit brighter than when you originally color with it. But it is buildable, so we can make this a little bit brighter, and I'll show you what I mean. So you see how it darkens it? It looks not great when you first put it on, but it dries really nicely. And of course you can do all sorts of like shading with these, blending, different techniques, but like I said, I want to learn how to use them, but I don't really know too much about them yet. I don't think I chose the best colors for this, but I think you get my point. Of course you can also use the other markers for coloring as well, but I think I'm going to just be mainly using these for writing. That is it for me today. You can check out Ohuhu. I will put all the links in the description box. Thanks again to Ohuhu for sponsoring this video, and I cannot wait to play with all my new markers. Have a good day, everybody. Bye.